Y'all gotta watch this for a second. made that face then you know exactly what we about to talk about today so let's get right on into it what's up YouTube welcome back to the channel my name is Dan this is Neo Mustangs this is my Fox Body Mustang channel so I hope you enjoyed the intro the intro is actually real that was a race that we had a couple years ago at a stick shift event and if you've ever made that face that's the pucker face of doom of coming through the traps and your shit not being able to stop I've raced my black car for many years. It went from 302 to 351 stock bottom ends, multiple 302s, all turbo stuff, naturally aspirated, 363 is what's in it now, yada, yada, yada. So this car has been through a transition of a lot of motors. And I've spent a lot of money on this car. I've spent a lot of money on the power adders. You know, currently we got a 363 brewing in here with a B&G modified turbo kit. We're about to take this Tremec out of this box. I'm about to show you guys some differences between that, a T5 and a TKO. And we're about to stick it in this thing and beat the snot out of it. But one of the other things that we have to do is we have to address surviving a pass. Now I've been racing this car for a number of years, like I just said, and you would think at some point that I would have spent money on doing brake upgrades. You know, I got this really cool stance going on in the back with this big old fat 315 without tubbing the car out. It's got SN95, S197 wheels on it. It's still got the factory drum brakes in the back. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Fox brakes can stop if you run the right stuff. So for a number of years, we've been running the power stop drilled and slotted rotor in really good pads. And for the most part, it seemed to have stopped my car well into the nines on a full weight, full interior, lots of booze, having some fun. But is that the right answer? Hell no because I've been checking my car out, putting this other turbo kit on, and my proportioning valve is weeping. My brake lines have seen the best of days, and it's time for an upgrade. So what we're here to talk about today is some options. Now, I've been searching the internet. I've been around Fox Bodies for a long time. I know what the brakes are. <coughs> Everybody knows you're gonna wanna find you a set of 94.95 spindles. You can see a picture of them right here. 94.95 spindles basically have the notch on them so you don't have to run like a bump steer or whatever. And when you put them here on the front of the car, it's perfect setting. They sit nice, they, they play nice with your rack, they play nice with your steering, and you can go ahead and build the, the hub bearing on it, the rotor and the caliper, pretty much run the line and then just be done with it, you know what I mean? There's a couple other things you guys need to know when you go to the junkyard to find these 94.95 spindles, which can be taken off of V6s or V8s, that there's a couple other parts you're gonna wanna snag and I'm gonna show you some of that stuff now. We're not gonna install them today. I'll make that for another video, but I just wanted to let you know that that's one of the things that I have wanted, been wanting to address with this car for a number of years and probably one of the main reasons why it doesn't have the big turbo kit and the other big motor in it. Let me show you the first order of business. Now I get it guys, some guys have already covered this. Multiple big channels, smaller channels, you know, everyone has a different twist on it. Just because that information's out there doesn't mean that it's all the same. So everybody's got their own little twists. So I'm gonna show you this one and I'm gonna show you the parts that I've ordered and we'll get into it. All right, so I got a variety of parts in here if you've watched my other update on this car. We had a rack in here battery box we're not going to do these things anymore we're actually going to probably return these or put the stuff on the shelf but one of the big things that we bought when we were at summit is the same thing that i got on my white car it's this willwood adjustable proportioning valve now this valve is a killer for what we're trying to accomplish because of course my white car's already got all the big boy upgrades it's got nine inch ends with nine inch rear discs it's got the front cobra brakes so i can stop the car i mean at 150 it gets a little sketchy in this car, after about 135, was, I was really standing on the brakes to get that thing to stop. So Fox body brakes will get you fast, but. <sighs> so the first order of business here was I got to find a spot to put this. And I'm probably going to put it in this wheel well over here. I got it over there in my white car, but I got a bunch of copper line that I usually buy. <clears throat> and, you know, of course you get the fittings and you can even tap into this union that sits right here there's a union that goes to the back for the rear brake this this proportioning valve can control that union and how much fluid goes back there and of course this is front left front right etc 
Now this thing right here run you about 75 bucks. Uh, Summit Racing, uh, you don't have to use the Wheelwood. That's the one I like to use. It's not a super expensive. There's other proportioning valves. Like I've had this one up on the uh, shelf forever and I don't even really know what it is. I think it's just the same thing. I figured I was just gonna go with what I know. So I decided to go ahead and order that. That was one of the first thing I did. Outside of getting a, uh, a big spool of copper line, brake line, from the that was just from the parts store so i'm not even going to show that part so what i ended up finding at the junkyard was a set of 94 95 spindles and you can identify them by the f5 number on the back but it also has got this notch and like i showed you in the picture earlier this notch is a two-year only thing doesn't doesn't make you uh, run a bump steer so what me and cousin paul and cousin fred did is we ended up taking them apart cleaning up real good and these are pretty much a direct fit on the fox bodies Another thing that I did was I went ahead and purchased some new wheel bearings. Honestly, I'm not going to trust the fact that you know, I'm not going to go 135, 140 miles an hour on wheel bearings that are like 30 years old. So I just went ahead. These were like 60 bucks a piece. Um, I got the spindles. They came with the brackets, the calipers, the rotors, and even the other. These are junkyard parts. These are not something that you can buy new. 94 95. You know, like I was showing you here, you got the calipers and there was the rotors, which were junk. I got all that stuff with it. One of the main things that a lot of folks forget, and I got to clean this up, but it looks to be pretty good, is you need to get the master cylinder too. This is like a direct fit onto your Fox body one, and you can still use the original booster for now. You're supposed to use the Cobra booster, but that's okay. <clears throat> Remember, this is budget. Going back to my wheel bearing, I ended up buying the Lifetime Moogs, and these don't even have to be pressed on. Um, these are just slip on and tighten to like 180 and you can see there bearings on all you gotta do is take the nut tighten it up and then it's done and I have a new wheel bearing on there comes right off doesn't need to be pressed all right so I got you know 75 bucks in the wheel wood I got $60 a piece in the Moog Lifetimes replacement bearings for the 9495 spindle I got the spindles for 50 bucks that included the calipers and the brackets. Guys, you don't have to do the crazy uh, uh, brake upgrade that I'm about to do. You could just stick with the calipers and the rotors that you get from the SN95. They work just fine um, with the master cylinder, but you know, I'm trying to do a better uh, upgrade, uh, a little bit, so one step past that. So we'll slide that stuff over here, and then I'll go over here and show you what's in that box. So as you can see here, got a couple big boxes here. So I actually ended up getting these on Amazon. Uh, the right side was $127, and the left side, which is the driver's side and hard to get in the junker, was $147. Brand new, remanufactured, whatever. Brembo four piston caliper brakes. These things are badass, boys. Brembos. They're pretty light. They're four piston. They fit right on the SN95 spindle. And guess what they come off of? A freaking Cadillac. The one thing about this, I'm pretty sure that I can get the line to fit. I'm gonna try to get this lined up on the rotor and I'm gonna try to get the Fox body line to fit. <clears throat> I know I need to get bolts for here. Literally guys, the only thing that you really have to do is you gotta drill these holes out. So if you look, it's really close, but it's not, not it, still has to be, it still has to be drilled out. $127 right side, $100. $50 left side. I'm pretty sure this four piston caliper will be just enough for each side for my black car to stop well into the nines. But we're not done yet. Last box I want to show you is the rotors. So for about a hundred bucks, I ended up getting Callahan rotors, which are pretty good rotors, and they're just the Cobra drilled and slotted rotors. So I got a really nice upgrade going right now, right here, right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of a mock fit and let you see it. So you can see I got the spindle. It's kind of hard to be doing one hand, but I got the spindle on with the bearing and this is the big rotor, big old rotor. And if you look, the caliper needs to be shaved a little bit. It'll slide right over top of this. This is pretty much what it'll look like. Isn't that badass? So I'd like to get rid of the Cadillac part, but this is a Brembo brake, guys. Four, four piston caliper, cheap. 100 bucks for the set of rotors, 120 for the new wheel bearings, $50 a piece or $50 for the set of spindles at the junkyard, $75 for the wheel wood. I don't know, probably 30 or $40 in copper line and some fittings. And guys, you got an upgraded front brake setup. Like don't even worry about the back ones yet. There's really no reason to even worry about the back ones when you got stopping power like that on the front because you could go well in the nines and not worry about stopping. 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my video. It's just an introductory level to some of the parts that it's gonna take to stop your car in, in racing or on the street or, or doing whatever you wanna do. If you guys enjoy my channel, you guys enjoy the, the, the content that I put out, make sure you hit that like and subscribe on the way out. We do have a join button below and we do have a big giveaway going at the end of the year. All the money in the channel stays in the channel. So I appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure you check out my upcoming videos with the TKX. We're gonna test the TKX and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you.